Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often I have desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing. See, your house is left to you, desolate, for I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. From Matthew and also in the other Gospels, we hear these words of Christ's lament. His sadness over the violence that gripped and plagued the great city of his people and of his faith. As the Church of Christ, we share in that lament today and this week. Every day brings bad news from the land of Israel and the people who dwell therein. And for me anyway, that each day brings a deepened awareness of how little I know and how little I understand of what is happening in, in Gaza and in Jerusalem. But I also sense that that confusion, that lack of understanding on my part is not an excuse to disengage, to skip those articles in my digital reading of the news, or more deeply to withdraw my care and my concern. It may be, friends, that lament and grief may be the pathway to a deeper and more grounded understanding of what is happening in that land that is far away, but is also very close to us. Because if Christ lamented for his people there, then in lamenting as well, we join with Christ in his wisdom, in his care, and in his hope and love. And therefore we may hope, we may share in his healing as far away and distant as it may seem. So today in this devotion, we will lament and we will make that lament the focus of our prayer. So I invite you now to join me and hopefully with the work of the Spirit, we may join in Christ's lament, and therefore in his wisdom and his care and his healing. Let us pray. Dear God, today we offer you our measure of lamentation for what is happening right now among the people of Israel and Palestine. We do not fully understand what is happening. Fill us with a desire for your wisdom. We do not adequately grieve what they bear. Share us with the full measure of your compassion. We grope for what is right for all your people hold us in the fullness of your righteousness. Mostly, God, we pray today for those who walk in the rubble and for those who create it. Because your people hurt, you hurt. So if we are to be with you, we are to hurt as well. So we pray the words that you taught so that we may be more attuned to your teaching. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.